Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to solve the integration problem by trigonometric substitution. In the first problem, in the numerator we have sin cube x plus cos cube x. So let's split this into two parts. We take the first term sin cube x and divide by the denominator sin square x into cos square x. In the same way, let's take the second term cos cube x and divide by sin square x into cos square x. Now what are possible? Let's cancel. So here we can cancel the entire sin square and this cube. So only sin x is remaining. The same way cos square can be cancelled with this cos square and cos x will be remaining. So let's write the remaining part. This is sin x and now cos square x can be written as cos x into cos x. In the same way Second term, cos x remaining in the numerator and the denominator sin square x which can be written as sin x into sin x dx. Now, this part will become tan x and remaining 1 by cos x will become cosecant x. So, the remaining is tan x into 1 by, sorry, 1 by cos is secant x dx plus integral and this part will become cortex. So we take this as cortex into 1 by sin x is cosecant x. After this we have direct integration formula. Integration of secant x tan x is secant x plus integration of cosecant x cortex is minus cosecant x plus c. So final answer is secant x minus cosecant x plus c. Let's see the next problem where we have sin power 6x plus cos power 6x divided by sin square x cos square x. If you use a similar logic by dividing individually, it will go complicated. So here we are going to do a different way. So first of all, this numerator can be written as sin square x whole cube. The sin power 6x is written as sin square x whole cube plus cos power 6x is written as cos square x whole cube. Then we have denominator and dx. Now in the numerator we are going to apply the algebraic formula a cube plus b cube. a cube plus b cube is a plus b into a square minus ab plus b square and here in place of a we have sin square x and in place of b we have cos square x. So if I substitute in the numerator a plus b which is nothing but sin square x plus cos square x into a square so it will become sin power 4x minus b square actually sorry minus ab ab is sin square x into cos square x and last term b square x is cos power 4x and numerator we completed and denominator we are going to write as it is sin square x into cos square x then we have dx at the end now Using the algebraic identity, we split it. the numerator sin power 6x plus cos power 6x in this form. Now trigonometric identity gives sin square theta plus cos square theta is 1. So this will become 1. We are going to write the remaining terms. Now in the numerator, we have 3 terms. So we are going to divide individually and we are going to take it as a 3 integration separately. First term is integration of sin power 4x divided by sin square x cos square x dx minus integral second term is sin square x cos square x and denominator sin square x cos square x then plus integral cos power 4x divided by sin square x 
cos square x dx even here dx now cancel whatever possible so sin square x if i cancel with this we left with only sin square x because this is sin power 4 and in the second term everything gets cancelled becomes 1 and here cos square and this power 4 if i cancel we left with only cos square x in the numerator so this is sin square x by cos square x which is tan square x dx minus this is only dx because all the them got cancelled then the last term is cot square x we have cos square x by sin square x so which is cot square x dx now again we have to use trigonometric identity this tan square x can be written as secant square x minus 1 into dx then second term as it is and last term again cot square x can be written as cosecant square x minus 1 dx now after this we are going to apply the integration formula integration of secant x is tan x this is minus x and again this is minus x and here it is minus cot x integration of cosecant square x is minus cot x and again minus 1 sorry minus 1 integration is minus x plus c now we can write the first term as tan x second term as minus cot x minus x minus x minus x is minus 3x plus c